Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we will split data that is on multiple lines in one cell into separate rows. Now I did a video showing how we can use text to columns to split data from multiple lines into different columns and within hours I had comments asking me how to get it into different rows instead. So here it is. And my approach here is to use Power Query or Get and Transform. It's the easiest way to get this done. So what I'll do is click somewhere within that table and go to my Data tab. And in this Get and Transform data area, click From Table Range. So this is from a range. This data is not a table at the moment, uh, but it will become one during this process. So this will open up the Power Query editor. So I've confirmed it as a table with headers and I'm now in the Query editor. On the right hand side, we get to name our query, which is typically the first thing I would do. But I'm not going to do that here because I'm assuming it's a kind of one off uh, transformation as opposed to an ongoing connection we'll be working with. I'm going to click on the results column because that's the one that we need to split into multiple rows. And on the home tab at the top, we have the split column button. And they offer the opportunity of by delimiter or by number of characters. Now, in this example, as it happens, we could choose number of characters because all of them are two characters wide. But this lesson is all about the delimiter. So let's click on that and that will open a window for us to select our delimiter. And it's already automatically detected it. It's got a custom delimiter and then in the box below, it's got this kind of hash and then in brackets LF, which is your line feed. And that's what we want. When somebody presses Alt Enter or, or Line Break or whatever you want to call it, that is your line feed. And it's going to do it at each occurrence of that delimiter. We have the opportunity of only the first one or only the last one or each one. And we could have chosen a different delimiter if it wasn't already detected. But very, very clever. The only other thing for us to do here is to choose rows in this advanced options area because we don't want it into columns, we want it into rows and we can then click OK. This insert special character button could be used to select the line feed if it did not automatically detect it. But if I click OK, that will split it into four rows for each office because of the four numbers. So now we have the numbers into different rows, uh, a structure that is easy for us to to work with and to analyze. The finishing step here would be to load it back to the worksheet. So if I close and load two and make sure that's going straight back to the worksheet. So to do that, I'll just ensure it says table and I'll just click OK and that will perform that transformation for me. So in the pane on the right hand side, I can see that 16 rows were successfully loaded. I'm going to close that because I don't want any refreshment on that query. And that is how we could have split it by the line feed into separate rows. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of the other video tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergargar.com.